amazed at how email is so predominant still, right? If you go into a web form and you create a case, it's basically an email you're submitting. Um, and I sometimes still uh, perplexed, maybe the word I want to use here, when I will receive a SEV1 that's sent in via an email. And then it's the end of the day, and the person went home. <laughs> I'm like, hmm, processing that one. Like all those elements make me just kind of pause. What we're trying to do is drive more live engagements, right? We're trying to drive more to um, chat specifically. We want to have live connections. So part of our design process is if you're going to declare a SEV1, which we want you to do, we want to know, we want you to engage immediately on chat. Or we want you to schedule a call with us. We want to be a lifeline that's real and available to you. So we're, we're doing more intentional ways of getting the customer to see the channel that aligns to what we're hearing from them. Like, if you're really in this state, it's urgent, we want to connect live. We want to, you know, go that path. What's interesting, I don't know if you've all experienced this, I get a couple different camps. I've got people who say, well, chat's only good for the simple things. And I'm like, really? I think it's good for everything. If not, I'm not looking to solve every problem in it, but if I can capture all this incredible insight from you in a live engagement, and then we maybe go to async, that's okay, right? But if you just do async from the get-go, it's a longer total time to resolve, right? We go a lot of back and forth, and we're actually using support logic to flag when I've got an engineer who's hit a tipping point of how many back and forths in email we're going. Oh. We have a manager immediately jump in and say, how can I help you? We, let's get on a call with a customer. There's too many. I think it's our tipping point is five. And I'm hoping we can actually learn from that and bring it down even further because it's not effective. So we're trying to drive campaigns and awareness to get more live engagements. And we're tracking real closely the resolve, um, you know, one touch resolution kind of models and looking at sentiment analysis around it. Um, making sure the experience is where it needs to be, because to me, that'll drive repeat business. 